Hey, it's Redman, and uh, we haven't done any videos for a while, and one of those reasons we haven't done any videos is because we've been playing a lot of Minecraft. In fact, we have a Minecraft server. We're going to put the address down there. It's dgz.servftp.net, and I'm going to give you a quick little walkthrough of our world. Actually, it's a little less of a quick little walkthrough. It's more like a 15 minute and 46 second walkthrough, but here we go. We're starting at the top of my personal area, Doom Castle, and uh, I built this over the course of uh, overnight, and I'll give you a little quick view of everything. Off in the distance there, you might have seen some pixel art, I did all those. We have a couple other players on here too, so they do definitely help out, but really it's basically me and about three other people total really actually working on this so what we need is we need more builders we need people that want to come in and really develop this server into something awesome in fact we're you know we're offering no limits on on this thing you can just come in and do what you want as long as you're not destroying other people's stuff and uh, or causing problems we're fine with it go down to the bottom here every floor on this doom castle is you know slightly different I like I like doing that sort of thing I also worked really hard at getting a very rounded look to it more more uh, a more natural ergonomic look to the castle over there is my crops and over here is even more crops where I have all this sugar cane growing excellent for baking the cake and excellent for making paper and of course we got maps in the new mod which you know that's going to be really helpful to the this side of it there's a uh, un, unfinished castle there you can anybody could do whatever they want to add to that <clears throat> and we're going to hop in the boat and we're going to go for a ride real quick along our major trade route which is marked out in glowstone so it's easily visible at night let me speed the video up too a bit here because this is a long journey but it's quite safe actually we do have monsters turned on in this so you do want to keep your guard up at night and you notice how everything's built up on platforms with, with plenty of lighting on it I designed this you know so that those bridges basically go everywhere and there's plenty of space to, to build off into the uh, into whatever there hop off here into this set of docks this is uh this was the first mine that I really dropped into it because I, I wanted to start mining and, and I know I'm an admin and an op and everything but you know you can always spawn in blocks and build whatever you want but it's nice to actually go in and start mining and having fun so I drilled down and I built this little section out here and cut all this open and it has an entrance at the bottom that goes into a long shaft that has you know not really much built off it to speak of and then I found this area here with all the lava and plenty of resources this this map's got a ton of resources in fact if we have to we'll actually open it up in an editor and, and add stuff in I'm gonna be skipping around in this video quite a bit I skipped to the top of the ladder there just to make it a little bit quicker and I'm gonna be doing a lot of speeding up here but first of all let's turn it to nighttime and take a look at this glowstone trade route. This looks really awesome. A lot of a lot of what this map is 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 designed to get around easily from one any point of the map to the other. It's sort of the overriding theme in this part of the world, at least. And that goes that that path goes all the way back there, and it goes there's a fork off it there that goes off to another direction that I'm working on and that if you go all the way to the end of that that's actually where one of the other ops the um, other ops uh, girlfriend's stuff is is all the way down there but it's pretty far away so I'm not walking all the way down there right as of yet and we're gonna walk back this does take quite a while and go over to the spawn site maybe not we're gonna just jump into the water here Isn't that great? I just love boats. Yep, I'm stuck on the wood. That's awesome. Alright, we're going to get out of here and follow this trade route back.
to our right is the spawn building where we, the players tend to spawn around that area. And this is a coffer dam I built. Haven't really done much with that either. A lot, like I said, a lot of this map is, is designed for uh, expansion. If you notice here, this was the first actual road that I built in, and it was all designed to, to, to get from one side of the map to the other, make a nice long stretch that we could get around on. Uh, apparently, I do not have any mine carts over here. For now, we're going to head to the nether. The nether portal is at the top of the main spawn building there. And yes, I have built off in the nether quite a bit here. There is another spawn portal at the end of that long path. The long stone path follows all the way down to another spawn, another portal that will spawn you somewhere else in the map. But I have no idea, honestly, where it is. It's way past Doom Castle. It's about as far away from Doom Castle as, as Doom Castle is from the spawn. Mm, let's head back because there's really nothing interesting over there yet. And we're going to speed it up. To the left, you can see the glass maze that I built. And I'm looking right, of course, when I record this because I'm an idiot. Let's turn it to day. There's Kirby. I like doing a lot of pixel art, and these are just the ones that I put together. I have a plan, plans for a couple more that I want to do, but they're really going to be big. And if we walk up here, as we walk over here, this stuff should should come in in a minute. There it goes. That's part of it. This is one of the little buildings that pepper the landscape that I built just to have storage. We're going to go into, uh, for right now, we're going to go into one of our ops dungeons that he built. Well, not dungeon, but his castle. This is uh, one of the guys we play Counter-Strike with. For some reason, his name on our server completely eludes me right now, but in Counter-Strike, he plays under Brot. And we got the Metroid over there. Nice little view of that. <clears throat> Mega Man off in the distance. We'll get a closer view of that later. But for right now, we're going to head into the Fortress. I built a little obsidian entrance there because I was having such a hard time finding its entrance before. I'm going to warp up to the ladder here and close to the top and get a nice view, an excellent view of all the pixel art from up here. Unfortunately, you can't see Doom Castle, but you can see my other little project castle over there. I'm going to head back down. Again, we're hosting this server at dgz.serveftp.net. Uh, we're going to put the address down there a couple times throughout the video. That's my Metroid there, making them out of glass to make it look a little bit more legit. And we're coming up on the Cactus Maze in Mega Man. Mega Man was the first piece of pixel art I put in. He is made of lapis lazuli block, uh, obsidian, and diamond. And yeah, he took a while. There's the cactus maze that I built. This took me about three days to build completely. And, oh, look, a mine cart. I'm going to go for a ride. Hey. No, I'll save that one for later. That one's cool. Hey, there's Mega Man. <laughs> But yeah, we're looking for anybody that can, you know, you want to build a giant, um, if you want to build a giant cobble cube, go right ahead. I don't care. I just want to develop this area and make it look flush, fleshed out. And I just want to get as many people as we can on this server and see what we can do because we have plenty of bandwidth where the server's at. Um, there's the glass maze on the right again. I, I have a penchant for building mazes. I kind of enjoy doing that. Oh no! I'm gonna lose my minecart. I'm gonna need that. This is the spawn building. I'm speeding up here. Yeah, there's nothing in here. And we're gonna ride the other minecart. This one's sort of a roller coaster ride. I noticed since the uh, since the update, the minecart has, has like this choo 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 feel. Like it's uh 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 uh. It just like speeds up, slows down, speeds up, slows down, speeds up, slows down.
but I've, I've had plenty of space cordoned off, plenty of space that you can move around at at night, and right now we're going to actually head off into the experimental zone of the map. And no, I'm not going to run the mazes because I don't want to ruin it for you. Oh, that's gone forever. There's a mine down at the bottom of this. This was the first fortress I actually built. Like, I just decided to build up a fortress. And yeah, I did spawn all the stuff in, so I didn't really take that much stuff up making it. We're going to speed this up down here. Okay, we're just going to follow this path down and... You notice we're going to get to the end here. There's a little bit of a room. I had a little bit of check there. I had to look at something. Let's check the file size. All right. Once you pass through this room, you're pretty much into the wilderness. Uh, there's a little another section here that goes to the mountain, but that's pretty much the end of, of all the safety measures. There's a couple of lights going through here. Once we got out of here, we're going to speed it up because, oh, damn, door glitches. Come on. There we go. Alright, we're going to head through here. And this is the forests. We haven't done anything with these forests quite yet. We're going to speed it up 400% here. And we're going to follow this path all the way down to our experimental test site. Down here, if you notice, I have a huge stone square up in the sky. And what that does is that covers the light up. And when you cover the light up, monsters spawn. Anyway, I'm going to make this so that you can see the shadow. There we go. You can see all the monsters now are at the top of the thing, too. There's a giant square in the sky makes it so all the stuff stays dark and I'm actually planning to build a system that'll kill the monsters off and sort of corral all their items down down towards the bottom here the last place we're going to visit in this area is the other the other uh, half of digital ground zero is uh, zero's spot after we take a quick look down here alright let's head out Zero's house is so far off the map. Oh, I need a golden apple here. <laughs> I'm about to die. Zero's uh, spot's so far off the map that we have to... I think he said he walked an entire day and an entire night to get there. You find these torches off in the middle of nowhere. And if you'll notice that his area is a lot more, what can I say, organic than most. He's got some boxes, you know, nothing really important in there. He basically hollowed out the entire inside of this mountain here. Yeah, he's nuts. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I want to be down here too much. Because there's probably a lot of enemies spawning. I'm going to show this off just to get the get an idea of the sheer magnitude of the built area that he's built here. He has a tree growing indoors. Head all the way back up to the top. And we're going to head up all the way up to his little house at the very, very top. And try not to kill ourselves in the process. Yeah. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Oh yeah, that's right, Notch fixed it so you can't stack 64 apples anymore. That's not good. Oh well. And then we're going to get up to the very top into his little house. What the hell's going on here? Oh, there's a cloud in the middle of his room. That's right. 
Wow, the clouds are like almost 3D-ish now. That's pretty cool. You notice that he built his area in the in the snow. That's sort of this thing. He's got his own little crops going on. It's so like I said, his his building style is a lot more organic than mine. I like you know really hard edges, very castly looking thing. He he likes to build stuff that blends into the landscape really well, like a, like a ninja house almost. That's definitely his his handiwork building a little mountain that goes real tight to the top with a single tree on the top. Definitely his style. He's also got the waterfall I see going down here and it all corrals in and it looks very nice. Well anyway, I think that just about does it for the tour of our Minecraft server. So we want you guys to come in and build with us. Definitely.